Welcome back to Hand of Fate. Let's take another crack at the King of Scales. All the world is a game board, and us men and women merely players. I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. You have choices, and I have predestination. Your choices, though, are merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. You begin to see the nature of the questions we will ask. Do we look to the past or to the future? Is your decision predetermined or made in the moment? Pretty good start to things, I'd say. And three game cards for that. That is awesome. Ooh. I'm sure you are grateful for that. A little extra health. But it is only a momentary respite. Oh, and this is another uh, easy one to get game cards from. So this is a very good beginning. Hmm. King of Dust or Queen of Dust? I don't know if it really matters. Let's go with the Queen. Oh, I don't have my shield anymore, I just realized. Break this thing! How much health does it have? My god! Alright, I'm just gonna try to get them away from it. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite execute him. There we go. Okay.
Ooh, what's up here? Oh, look at all this stuff up here. I had no idea this was here. Uh, seems a bit dangerous, though. No thanks. rusty axe that I start with is so bad. Or actually, no, I don't start with the rusty axe, but I got the rusty axe. For uh, being in the lizard dome, I guess. But if, I mean, even the rusty axe isn't really that much worse than the axe. The axe is already pretty bad. Because everything has so much health at this point. But anyway, four game cards. Beautiful. Okay, so the other way's away I actually want to go, but I wouldn't mind hitting up the maze of traps. Especially since I have a pretty good amount of food. Anything to buy? Um, maybe. Got quite a bit of gold. Could even afford a weapon, actually. Please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog. Oh, thank god, no dog. Oh, right, you don't have any items. Um, don't need to heal wounds. Remove curses? I don't think I could afford removing any. No. Not even close. Food? Don't really need it at the moment. Oh, it's my curse. Oh, dear. Let's do this. Let's see if I can do it without taking any damage. to go all the way back, back over areas I've already been to anyway, just to uh, actually get to the exit, so I'm going to regain all that health by doing that. More than worth it. Ooh, might be able to get a new weapon. Oh, damn it. Great Helm of Reinforcement, that's pretty good. Disciple's Ring, what does this do? Be wary of dipping too far into the fruits of necromancy. The seemingly sweet taste conceals an underlying stench of corruption and decay. 5% less damage per blessing, and 5% more damage per curse. Uh, no, that's terrible. Let's go with this. It's gonna upgrade my armor from medium to Being heavy. Being tougher than you look is a very considerable advantage. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Come on, weapon, come on, weapon! Ah! Well, I don't think I've really tried these before, so it should be interesting. Killing an enemy launches three magic missiles at any remaining opponents. Again, it's one of those things where it could be very good or it could be very bad, depending on how much damage the magic missiles actually do. So, we'll have to see. It's definitely going to be more useful when I'm fighting lots of weak opponents, since more deaths equals more spawned magic missiles. One food loss, that's fine. Nothing speaks truth like blood. 
And this is a new As one. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. In a forgotten desert temple, you stumble upon a cult performing a summoning. The cult leader, standing before an ancient altar, demands a blood sacrifice from you. Hmm. He doesn't say how much blood he wants. But, sure. The cult leader murmurs some words and then slices your arm with a knife. Oh, thank you. Two pain guards. Oh, that should be fine. Hmm. Permanent injury is not what I wanted to see. That's more what I wanted to see. He collects your blood in a chalice and murmurs, May the Dark One bless you. One blessing. Oh, that was totally worth it. The gods look upon you favorably. When the player chooses from multiple equipment or gain cards, the choices available are increased by one. That is, that's quite good, actually. The ceremony concludes hours later, and the various hooded members turn and walk away. Left alone, you search the area. Draw one equipment card. Oh, this is even better. Solid. Robust. Honest. Slow. Hmm. Strong protection from physical attacks, but also slows movement speed. You know, I don't think there's actually a point to me putting this on. I think it would just be a negative, because I currently have medium armor. Yeah, which gives me a defense of medium, but I also have the Helm of Reinforcement on, which increases my... my armor tier up one. So my medium armor is actually heavy armor. So if I put on heavy armor, I don't think it's going to increase it to very heavy. That's impossible, there's no such thing. So, yeah, I think it's actually pointless. The only thing it's going to do is slow down my movement speed. So, nope. Can sell it. Your currency is spent, your memories tattered and torn, formed into mere cards for us to play with. Can I afford to give him food? I think I can, because there is a shop at the very next place. And I do have enough money to actually buy food. Yeah, let's do it. Unfortunately, I can't give him 10 food, which I think is one of the options if you actually have it. Because I don't quite have 10 food. But 5, five is fine. The priest humbly accepts your provisions. Alright, old man's rooting around in the sack again. Come on, don't fail. Choose from these options. Oh, this is so easy. <laughs> that was like the slowest card movement ever. Tarnished old ring. One gain card. One gain card per blessing. Hmm, how many do I have? Two? I think I have two. Maybe three. There's one. There's two. Yep, two. See what's for sale? Please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog. Damocles. Oh, that's one that throws knives in eight cardinal directions. Hmm. I don't like that. Lizard men take double damage from the player's attacks. Oh, that is very good. And the reason for that is because the person I'm fighting is what the lizard king king of scales or something like that. I'm, I'm fighting a lizard man. So this means I'm going to do double damage against the end boss and the end boss's lackeys. Or whatever you want to call his lizard kind people. Bodyguards. Lizard guards. Yeah, I can't pass this up. Which means it's going to replace my helmet, that the helm of reinforcement, which means maybe I do want to put the heavy armor on? I don't know. Let's see. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. That sounds nice, but I already have gloves. 
Red bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. Sounds cool. I'm not entirely... I think I used it once, but I couldn't quite get a feel for how good it was. It sounds good, though. But, yeah, I, I need to go with this. This is just way too good. Let the lizard men beware. You yeah. think that will help you? So let's put that on and then... Sell the crown of hindsight. Let's sell the great helm of reinforcement. And I'm actually going to equip my armor. There we go. So we'll see what it does to my movement speed, whether it's a problem or not. Now, I kind of need food, so I guess I'll buy some. Oh, they only sell one food? That is a very high price, too. That is not worth it. Six bucks for one food? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. So much power, yet so little grace. Even the old gods bow to death in time. So this is a continuation of the sailor uh, guy that I helped. I don't remember what that guard was called. So let's see what's going on here. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. Suddenly, a deep, inhuman voice booms out. It's as if the sky, sea, and ground are speaking with one voice. You thought that you could steal from me and get away with it? The humans you stole had value to me. No man is safe from the curse. A price must always be paid. Whew. I see the gods favor you. You shall avoid your fate. For now. Great, I deferred payment of my curse. Ew. I am sorry. Okay, now I have one food. That's a problem. Do I go back to the shop? I don't think I do. No thanks. Ooh, weapon. Need a weapon, need a weapon, need a weapon, need a weapon. Damn it! Well, actually, you still get the you still get the weapon, you just get some health pain guards. Almost an insult to give a mighty warrior such a feeble weapon. It is, and you put it in there. One golem? Eh, what the hell, let's take him on. So let's see how this heavy armor performs as far as my movement speed goes. I do need to run away from him when he does a special attack, so this could be bad. Depends on what exactly happens. Let's see. Um, it is significantly slow, but it's not super slow. Come fight me on the bridge. I'm more comfortable here.
Oh, thank God they gave me food. Uh, I think I'm going to take damage actually getting to the food, but should be fine. Oh no, it looks like the food actually counted. Yeah, it, it counted the gain of the food before it actually took away my health or attempted to use the food, which is very generous. Which is something that the game is typically not. All right, I need to go straight there because I need to Once buy food. many came to play the game. Now, it's so few. The bored, the obsessed, the weak. Some come here merely to fill their mind with anything else but their problems, with any other issue than the thing on their mind today. Is that what you're doing now? Given that I have to go to the shop to get food right now, and when I did this before, I was completely screwed out of my health because I had to go, the, the shortest route to where I needed to go, took too many steps and the heavy burden hit me. Um, and I'm low on food, so no. Mm. Do not let your supplies run so short. You are on risky ground. The player cannot sell anything. Son of a bitch. Have you found what you were seeking? Enlighten me. You arrive back at the sacred stones as dusk falls. The robed druids are already waiting for you. Stand watch, warrior, while we complete our task. A storm rolls in as the now familiar chanting begins once more. A noise in the trees draws your attention, and you quickly find yourself in battle again. Ha! Huh. No problem. I do double damage against him. Bring it on, Lizardman. Let's go for the casters first. Don't you dare cast spells at me, asshole. Okay, we're good. the hell? I countered that. Didn't do anything, though. And execute. Alright, these mages gloves seem to be useless. Those little things that go shooting out, they don't even seem to hit. Yeah, look at this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, are they even doing anything? I mean, they're pretty, but they don't seem to actually be doing damage. Okay, that one did damage, I think. I heard a sizzle. So, Mage's gloves are complete trash. As you butcher the last lizard, more of them rise from the waters. The druids pay no heed to the danger. Bring it on! Even easier than last time. No casters? No casters. And... 
you. Take out these stupid little things that block my way. Kind of hard to hit them, though. You continue to kill lizardmen well into the night. Eventually, the druids cease their ritual and their leader approaches you. Your reward for the carnage you have unleashed. I'm sure you are grateful for that. The final act will take place on a moonlit night. You will be here when you are summoned. I have foreseen it. So there's even more to the the summoning. Spin the wheel if you would put your trust in such a device. <laughs> Do I want to spin it again? Wheel of the Gods. Will you spin the magical device and risk tearing the fabric of the universe? Sure. Just a small tear, not a horrible one. You know, you could just stitch the tear up in the fabric of the universe, perfectly fine. A ripple in reality emanates from the wheel. You find yourself dressed as a slightly different version of yourself from a parallel reality. Oh god, did it change my equipment? Shit, what did it do? Weapons the same, shields the same. Uh, no helmet? Oh, that was a terrible idea, what have I done? Fuck, it got rid of my helmet. I still have my heavy armor. So it looks like everything's the same except my helmet. It's gone. That helmet was, like, my key to the end boss. Shit. That's bad. Please don't have a dog, 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 please don't have a dog. Can't sell items because of my curse. But I can buy stuff. Hmm, this enormous shield actually increases my armor level. Although I guess with already having heavy armor, that's kind of pointless. Oh, it also reduces my move speed. No, I don't want to reduce my move speed even more than it's already reduced. Oh, fleet cuffs. Given that the mage, uh, the mage cuffs or whatever they're called are pretty much useless. And the fact that this would counteract the movement decrease of my heavy armor, I think that'd actually be pretty good. Spiritual healing, no thanks. Oh, time heals, I gotta go for that. Th this is incredible. Yep. Alright, let's go for the fleet cuffs too. Interesting choice. Oh wait, it didn't ask me to replace the fleet cuffs, cuffs with what I had before, so I guess I lost the cuffs as well. From the ripple in the tear in space-time or whatever. All right, let's buy some food. This is a pretty good deal. I'm just gonna spend all my money on food, I guess. Well, okay, I'll save ten. Save ten bucks for a, a loan to some, some dude or something. I don't know. It could be a quest-related thing that needs a little bit of money. The world is but surface. Behind it, mysteries and wonders transpire. 
Okay, last time they didn't accept me because I was too blessed, I guess. So hopefully this time I'm cursed enough. Mm. No, I'm not cursed enough. Tis a shame. That's fine. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Two blessings for a magical item. No. Sail away and see what you will find. This is where it ends, or at least this is where the conclusion begins. As much as any game can truly end, your final challenge awaits you now. Let's go do some more jacking. And his friend, the Jack of Dust. Hey! Don't even have to jack him off. The man eyes you uncertainly, but agrees to go back with you. Once home, the wife hands you a sack, saying, Take your pick. Nice, you don't even have to fight him. And wh why are the cards overlaid with the other cards? That's weird. Anyway. Oh man, I get to actually choose. Gain 10 health, gain 10 health. Those are stupid. Armory. Choose to discard or put back on top. Hmm. So that doesn't actually give me any equipment. It just allows me to kind of see what's there and discard them or put the ideal things on the top for later. But no, let's just draw one because I really want a new weapon. Damn it. That is terrible. I'm not going to put those on. Are you sure that's the right approach? Pray to the gods. A choice. Select your desire. I'm getting really lucky here. You stumble upon a long lost tomb with treasure still inside. A weapon card, yes! Yes! Oh man, we're set. Yep, this is a very good weapon, although I do have to keep one thing in mind. Let's go ahead and equip it. Okay, one thing I have to keep in mind is I have a curse. Hungry Blades. Whenever a weapon ability is used, the player consumes one food. So, in other words, unless I'm on the very last fight where food doesn't matter, I can't use my weapon's ability. So, gotta keep that in mind. Hmm. Nasty. I guess I should have spent my gold. Hmm. Do I have more floors to go until the end boss? I don't know. If this is the last level, then I suppose I'd want a blessing, or maybe longer life. Because I don't need more supplies to venture around just this area. I think it might be the last one, so I'm going to ask for a blessing. Useful. Oh, this is the amazing blessing. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. That is very, very good. That is probably the best blessing in the entire game that I've found so far. At least in my opinion. Also, by the way, another important thing about blessings is the fact that I actually have a blessing. Which makes me do two more damage for each blessing that I possess. So at the moment, I have, <laughs> I have four blessings. Four times two. Two times four, which is eight damage. So I actually do eight additional damage on top of the 35 that I already do with the base damage of my Thunderstrike. So I'm doing a lot of damage. Hmm, okay, so this was not the final floor. This thing I have created, I can hardly bear the sight of it now. I've worked my way through its many convolutions so many times run through these conversations in my mind over and over again. Wondered how it all ends. Will I ever know the truth? Ah! <laughs> 
Draw five? Wow, that's like almost the entire map. Hmm. Little ore cave shelter. Blacksmith. Okay. <laughs> I am not going back to the blacksmith. I, I feel like if I can just get to the end boss, I'm almost guaranteed victory. I've got heavy armor, I've got a very good weapon, I have time heals, and I'm at full health. If I can just get to the end boss, I'm good. So, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to head straight there. The old gods. I trust them even less than the new gods. This one's new. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. You pass by an ominous mountain peak, rumored to be the home of an oracle of the old gods. The path to the oracle is not long, but arduous, or arduous, and often dangerous. Let's visit the oracle, sure. You set off up the thin, rocky path. You reach a point where the trail becomes little more than a thin ledge stretching across a bare cliff face. Ooh. Well, this is going to be one of those chance cards things, but I do have that blessing, so I'm going to go for it. Yeah, do I fall off to my doom, or what? We'll be fine, don't worry. I didn't, I, I didn't even track the cards, doesn't matter, we're fine. See? We're fine. A few stones shift as you make your way across, clattering down onto the rocks below. You manage not to fall, however, and continue your journey. The oracle sits in a darkened haze of smoke and incense. An attendant waits patiently for your decision. Oh, you're kidding me! I came all this way and almost fell to my doom only to find out that I need to pay a fee that I can't even afford. <sighs> Bye. Your path back down the mountain is relatively uneventful. Lame. You know, it would have been helpful if they maybe put like a sign on the pathway before the part where you almost die that says, make sure you have money, otherwise go away and don't risk your life. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? You are my most persistent foe. Here it ends. Don't have much food, so hopefully I can find the end dude very, very soon. Uh, I most likely missed other golem hunting parties. And if I don't defeat all three, then there's really no point in doing them, so I'm just going to try to avoid them. Hmm, let's redraw. I have no idea. Oh, wow, wonderful, I redrew into worse fate. That's fine, though. It just means we have to fight them. And there's only one. And I do crap tons of damage, so it's fine. I think the lingering electric damage over time that I had on him killed him, I guess. I didn't even know the electric part, like the, the thunder part of my weapon actually did damage over time. I just assumed it just added to the base damage. But apparently it does do damage over time because I didn't hit him and he just died. Food! I can see your eyes glinting from here. You know, at this point, I really don't need anything. So I'm actually just going to avoid it. Let's avoid catastrophe. Although I do have the blessing that allows me to redraw, but still. Ugh. Oh, that's fine. 
the deeper you go, the harder things become. Yeah, heavy arrows is a curse that actually seems more like a blessing to me, so I'm fine with that. The time of the old gods has come again. A brief period of light in the darkness, of civility and civilization. But its decline was inevitable. Here we are once more, with the gods of blood and thunder. I don't actually need this, but again, I do have the blessing that allows me to redraw, so let's go ahead and pray. One blessing. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Whenever the player uses an artifact, there's a 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown time by 80%. Eh. Um, don't actually really care about that, but I do like the fact that it gives me more damage, because the other blessing I have, that gives me plus two damage per blessing, so that's a good part of it. Ooh. And so the end begins. Okay, this is the very last boss. And I gotta be honest, the chance of succeeding is actually extremely high. Because I have three uses of time heals, and I'm at full health at 90 health. And I've got a good weapon, and good armor. This king imbues his followers with patriotic zeal. They will not die while he lives. He wears down his foes with deadly spines launched from his shield before obliterating them with brute strength. He has lived since before humans came to this place. Mighty, lonely, and dangerous beyond measure. This lizardman battled creatures that slithered from the outer darkness, from the very hells themselves. Okay, so, beats me up. Also launches spikes from a shield. And Come now, hurry up. We don't have forever. And there's no point in actually attacking his minions, because they can't die while he's alive. So I have to go straight for him. Okay. So... Now I can use my weapon special ability. It's gonna reduce my food, but it doesn't matter, because this is the, the last boss. So I can use my weapon special ability. I have three uses of time heals, so I need to use that. Anything else I need to remember? No, that's it. Alright, here we go. Come There's on. There's a token in it for you if you win. Come on. I got this. God damn, he's big. All right, let's get familiar with the battle arena. Okay, done. It's very small. He's very slow. Did I just, like, fall off? <laughs> that was weird. thankfully very slow. So it's easy to dodge, but I'm sure he does a crap ton of damage. Oh shit, I just killed him? That's it? <laughs> We're good. I'm gonna use time heals just to be careful. That is it. Boom.
You have beaten all the members of my court. The game is done. Do not think that this means you are beyond judgment. You have not won your life. No, one more trick remains. Yeah, I figured there was something more. Alright, so what's happened? Start equipment has been upgraded. Each area you enter will be strewn with food or gold. Uh, at the start of your adventure, you gain an equipment card. Okay. Lizardmen fire breathers will protect themselves with flame armor. Ratman health increased. Lizardmen health increased. The dagger is a symbol of the intellect's ability to cut through the ties that bind us. My intellect built this entire framework from the barest pieces. You dare take it from me? I honor our deal. You win, and you gain reward. Even though I now work against myself. I'm still not entirely sure what he means by there's one more trick. I guess we'll see. Charity 4. There's so many charities. I remain. Only I remain. So does that mean I do actually have to fight him? There is nothing left but your final challenge. My final challenge being... Aha! <laughs> the dealer. The player receives a curse at each new dungeon level. Ooh. The player cannot receive any more blessings. Wow, so I'm just gonna get cursed to hell. Okay, we are not done. You face me now for the ultimate prize. I offer no mercy. Let's check out our deck. Let's add in the new weapon. Any weapon that I want to get rid of. Let's see what the damage of this is. 32? That's pretty good. Thirty? Pretty good. Oh yeah, that's the one that drains health. So it would have been enormous shield. That's the one that reduces your movement speed, right? I don't know if I want that. Well, whatever. Let's not worry about it. Uh, because I don't think I have enough equipment to actually throw in, or do I? Actually, I do, so we have a skullcap of prophecy. Toss that in. I think we have a ring. Two rings. Three rings. Okay, one thing we can definitely get rid of are mage gloves, because those are terrible. Uh, let's also toss out Damocles. Or do I not even have that in? Oh, I don't have it in. Okay, so that must have just been uh, a random store item that wasn't there because of me, I guess? percent less damage per blessing, 5% more damage per curse, so that one is crap. Let's get rid of it. There we go. Need to make one more spot. What about spiritual healing? Whenever the player is healed, receive plus one health per blessing. No thanks. Okay. Lots of new stuff. Anything I want to change? Don't think so. I think I like the stuff that I have. Actually, you know what? I think we can get rid of any armor that's light. Because there's no way I'm going to be wearing light armor at this point. But do I have any replacement armor? It's medium armor, but I start with medium armor. Actually, now that my equipment's been upgraded, I might start with heavy armor. Um, 
Nah, I'll stick with the stealth, it's fine. So many new things. Gotta throw in one old thing, too. <laughs> There's the river, but again, I I need light armor to do that. That's just like really, really unlikely to happen. Hmm, what else? The apprentice? I don't remember what that actually does, but sure. Okay. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will attempt to take on the dealer himself.